hello students welcome back to engineers academy kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such problems now i am going to solve this problem in this problem we are given that the angle plate is subjected to 250 newton forces shown right so this uh, angle plate is subjected to these two 250 newton forces and it said that it is desired to replace these forces by an equivalent set consisting of 200 newton force applied at a and a second force applied at b right and it is said that determine the y coordinate of b right so here uh, we want to replace these 250 newton forces by a set of 200 newton forces right uh, one acting at this point a and the other one acting at this point b now what we will do is that we will draw a force equal to 200 newton and these 200 newton forces need to produce the same moment that are produced by these 250 newton forces right since we want to replace these 250 newton forces right so the moment or the couple produced by 250 newton forces is equal to 250 and multiply by the perpendicular distance between these 250 newton forces right so this is 240 mm right so we will multiply this with 240 so this is the moment or the couple produced by these 250 newton forces so this moment comes out to be 60000 uh, newton mm right now uh, in this problem we are asked to determine the y coordinate of this point b right so we are asked to find the y coordinate right so let's say that the distance between this a and b is let's say y right so we are required to find this a b distance right so now if if these two forces are producing the same moment then uh, uh, if i extend the line of action of this 200 newton force uh, let me extend the line of action of this 200 newton force right so then the perpendicular distance between these two forces will be represented by this line right so let's say that this is the perpendicular distance between these two forces right so let me draw it here so this is the y uh, a b length which is represented by this y and let's say this is represented by this d right so in order to replace uh, these 250 newton forces by these 200 newton forces we need to find this d distance right since this is the perpendicular distance between these two forces right and this uh, d will be perpendicular with the line affection of this force right so then we can say that uh, this 200 into d the moment produced by these 200 newton forces the couple produced by these 200 newton forces will be equal to the couple produced by these 250 newton forces right which is equal to uh, 60000 newton mm right so then this d will be equal to 60000 divided by 200 So this uh, perpendicular distance between these 200 Newton forces comes out to be uh, 300 mm. Since in the problem we are required to find this coordinate, this y length, right? So we can see that this is the hypotenuse, y is the hypotenuse and this d is the uh, base of this triangle if we consider this angle, right? So if we consider this angle, so then this d is base uh, according to this theta, right? So we can say that uh, y cos of theta will be equal to d right so then y will be equal to d divided by cos of theta so now to find this y we uh, we have this d length right so we are required to have this theta now if we look into this triangle so then uh, this d this line is uh, perpendicular with the line affection of this force and this uh, line this dash line is perpendicular with this line right so this means that if this angle is 30 degrees so then this angle is also 30 degrees right so we can say that this theta is 30 degrees right so this means that y equals to 300 divided by cos of 30 degrees so from from this y equals to 346 uh, mm right so this is the y coordinate of this point b right so if we represent the coordinates of this point b since this point b is lying on the y axis so the x coordinate will be zero and the y coordinate is 346 mm right so this is the solution of this problem 